So Candace Owens has said that she's thinking about running for president. Now, anybody can really run or become president um, if, as long as you meet the basic qualifications of being U.S. citizen, 35, whatnot. Um, so, I mean, go ahead. That's your own decision. That's your prerogative. Whatever you want to do, you do it. But um, when it comes to her as a candidate, oh, first thing I think of is culture war. Culture war stuff is extremely obnoxious, in my opinion. I tend to stay away from culture war topics as, as much as I can for the simple reason that it becomes very toxic very quick and it's hard to have nuanced discussions because you have people some of which are paid to push a narrative no matter what and not necessarily have a debate but more they they want to more or less uh propagandize people and so you have some that it, it turns into a, a money making scheme which is another reason why people have called candace a grifter because she seemingly hopped on the trump bandwagon around 2017 16 ish and um because i i don't i don't i don't know if she was anti-trump before or whatever she was before she wasn't a conservative for you know her whole life um and a lot of people have made a business and made a made a um good amount of money off of hopping on the trump train over the last four years and uh, you know, some of them, whether they authentically believe it or not, have uh, gone to extreme ends when it comes to, you know, narratives that they push or, you know, or whatever they, you know, would like to defend or or put out there. And Candace, when it comes to certain issues, she seems to be a what I would call a uh, a mouthpiece for a certain She's like a mouthpiece for people who want to say something, but they can't. Uh, for example, the George Floyd video. <clears throat> she went all in, all hard on George Floyd, talking about his personal life, him being arrested. Um, <clears throat> I believe she called, I forgot who she called a monkey or animals or whatnot. Anyway, <laughs> she can say those things because she has the racial cover to say that. And there's certain people who want to say that stuff, but can't. And they kind of use her as like a um, <clears throat> a projection and, and kind of say, you know, they probably share her videos and be like, yo, she's speaking the truth, uh, you know, whatnot. And that is one of the biggest problems with her, in my opinion, is that she seems to be able to provide cover for a certain um, more prejudice, a more prejudiced view or, or for prejudiced people out there on the right or um, and in some in the conservative movement. And I mean, because there's prejudice in every place. There's liberals who are, you know, prejudiced, racist, whatnot. But um, her specifically, it's like, I don't know. It's sometimes she could just rub you the wrong way. And now some people love her. If you're a conservative, you would probably love Candace Owens. Um some of the more populist leaning guys don't really like her that much. They see her as more um, of a, you know, not even corporate type, but just almost a, a grifter ish kind of hopped on the bandwagon type. Cause there's a lot of bandwagoners who hopped on the Trump train and made a lot of money. Like I said, um, so when it comes to a Republican primary, would she make it through the primary? I don't really think so. I mean, she could, you know, it depends on who's running. Um, she would definitely probably have some media moments and some really, um, I don't, I don't know. It, I've never seen her like debate one-on-one -on, -one on a, like a stage or anything. So I don't know how that dynamic would be. I remember the whole Kyle Kalinske situation where she, her team was saying like she wasn't ready that she denied that she was, she was at a wedding and stuff like that. <laughs> It was it was just weird, you know, and so um, you know if she wants to hop on that debate stage, hop on the big stage, you know, fine, go ahead. But um, I don't know. She comes. She can be abrasive sometimes, and she and condescending in certain ways. And um, I, I really just 
she just seems like the culture war. That's that's all I see is, is culture war, and it's you're specifically there to push a certain message and be as belligerent as possible. A lot of people like to be belligerent, and only certain people can pull it off. And um, with going forward with the Republicans, they're going to have an identity crisis because Trump may or may not run in 2024. If he's convicted in the Senate, he won't be able to run in 2024. But if he's not and he's able to run but just doesn't run then you know the republicans are gonna they're gonna i don't know what they're gonna do so um yeah they're having an identity crisis and those who are trying to uh, to promote trumpism or label label themselves as trumpists it seems more as a more of like the imitation of trump rather than trying to actually put forth some uh, populist message or whatnot because some people call trumpism populism right-wing populism others it's like right-wing populist rhetoric but not full on policy and then there's the basic just loyalty to trump or doing the best trump impression being belligerent being you know a fighter or whatnot and that seems to be what trumpism has become i I, like I, i don't know it's a weird thing to define so I mean, if she want to run, go ahead. You know, I'm everybody who wants to run, go ahead and run. Um, so yeah, that's what I think about that. Um, what do you guys think? Uh, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, 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 like, comment, comment, subscribe, like, whenever you do it, however you do it, wherever you do it, just do it. It is your boy Red X Black, and I'm out. Peace.